Hello everyone, it's Devon Malzar, and for quite a while now my friends have been asking me to make a lip flapping tutorial so that they could learn how to do it. Well, it's not as hard as you think, and I already have a couple of shots set up for a few scenes for you to learn from. So today we're going to be covering the basics. We're going to cover still shot lip flaps, which are just basic non-moving shots, and we're going to cover masking lip flap shots, whereas in, in, in Whereas in an example, let's say rain was coming down, but you still needed to lip flap them and you didn't want the rain to stop coming down in the scene to give it more of a realistic feel. So that's what we're going to be covering today. We're not going to do any moving lip flaps as that's a little more complicated and that's something we may do down the road. But for starters, let me show you the scenes that we're working with. This is the first scene, the still shot scene. These are the lip flaps that we'll be using. See, they're all there. Then this is the scene we're going to be masking with this rain coming down. Now. A lot of different programs have a still shot or a freeze frame fe uh, feature, so you want to find your lip flap. So for instance, there's your closed. You would just go up to Tools in Adobe, Freeze Frame, and then export that out as Mustang 1 closed, Mustang 1 full, Mustang 1 half. So I use the number 1 to know that that's the first sentence that's lip flapped. In another shot, I would use Mustang 2 and so on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And for this scene right here, we will be using garbage matting. Now some people use garbage mat to do their basic still shots, lip flaps as well, but I'm going to keep it simple for you today, and we're just going to use the still shots, okay? Or the freeze frames. Now, I already have everything all laid out for you and done, because if I did the lip flapping in the tutorial video, it would take a while. So I'm going to let you see what I did and then explain it to you and walk you through it so you understand and grasp what was done and why it was done. That's why I have two lines recorded. I have the same line recorded twice, once in a normal speed and once in a slower speed so you can see the lip flaps and kind of understand why they are the way that they are. So before we get into this one over here, let's break this one down a little bit first, shall we? Let's go ahead and watch this. Hmm. Hawkeye in a swimsuit's pretty sexy. Hawkeye in a swimsuit's pretty sexy. Now, we're going to break this down in the slower version of the line so that you can actually see the lip flaps a little bit better because you'll notice they move a little faster here. So the first thing I want you to notice is how I take the approach to my lip flapping. You'll notice that I have all, all three separate flaps in their own video file line so as to not let them get confused. When I look at this, I know the top line is all half mouths. The middle line is all full mouths, so the middle line right here is all full mouths, and the bottom line is always a clo constant closed all the way across the audio file. So I literally just drag the closed across the whole file and then place the halves and full mouths over top of the closed as I see fit where the line needs to be lip flapped. Now, for starters, say the word Hawkeye aloud. Say it right now. Do you notice how your mouth said Hawkeye? Pay attention, pay very closely attention to that because watch when I drag this over how it's lip flapped. Again, the top line is the half lip flap, the middle is the full, and the bottom is the actual closed lip flap. See? So half, full, closed, right here. Now pay attention to how this is done now, alright? Hawkeye. See? When you're lip flapping, pay attention to how you say it aloud. Say Hawkeye. You'll notice your mouth when you say H is half, the ah is full, and the k is half again. Now, I is obviously going to be big, but at the end of the I, it goes to small again. So, Hawkeye. See? Hawkeye. See that? Same with right here, too. In a swimsuits. In, so in, half to full to half, to A, say A out loud, your mouth is big, and then at the end of the A, it goes to the small flap again, so in, you should be half right here, back to full right here, A to half right there, see? In a swim, in a, so in A, now for the swim right there. As you see it play back, you don't need to have that S all the way across. In a swimsuit. You could, if you wanted to, watch, it'll still work. In a swimsuit. See? Just I lip flap that differently is all. Now for swim, obviously, say that aloud, swim. Notice how it's half to swit is the full it. And when you get to the mm, it's half again. So swim. <laughs> Same here with suits. Suits. And for pretty, obviously. Now, another way that you can... Well, pretty is obviously going to be the same way, but I'm going to show you something here that's pretty cool. There's another way that people lip flap as well. And I do it myself a lot of the time too. By looking at the waveform, notice how right here that's all small. 
So that'd be a small lip flap. So actually, I could drag this over a hair, bring that right there. And when the lip, when the waveform gets bigger, as you can see there, it's obviously a large lip flap. So see how it gets smaller there? So pretty. Same with sexy right here. Sex. See how it got bigger? E or set at, and then the X set X is small. E is going to be bigger to the smaller E. So watch. Pretty sexy. Same concept again. Pretty so now that you have an understanding of how the lip flapping part works, let's go over and do the masking side of things now. Now, this is what we're masking over here. I've already got it masked, see? But if I turn this off, you'll see what I'm talking about, what's underneath it. See how his mouth is constantly moving? How did I achieve that? Okay, let me show you how I did it. This right here is what is known as a mask. I'm going to delete all these off for you real quick here and show you how it's done. Now, in this setup right here, you're going to have your audio as the bottom file. Then this right here, what we're masking, will be right above that. And then we'll have our lip flaps above that. So you'll have an extra video file here. So how did I do that? Well, I'm going to show you. I take my closed. I took a still shot. Now when I place it over it, the rain's not moving anymore. So I need that rain to move. So what I do in Adobe Premiere, it's called keying in the effects area. Go to keying. Then you find four point garbage mat and you drag it over top of the still shot you need to garbage mat. All right. You go to applied effects. Click that. Let me shrink that there. Now, as you can see, I can place these lines to what I want seen in just that area. And everything else outside of this box will continue to move, thus the rain shot. So once you're done getting your clothes, you need to make sure that when it's over top of this, you can't see any of the mouth movements underneath this still shot that's garbage matted. So let's play it through. Okay, we don't see his mouth moving underneath. But if I turned this off, look what's happening. So control Z. That's how you do a mask, everyone. That's how you do a mask. Now, in this shot right here, the actual file, like, for instance, um, with the rain and whatnot, let's say I need this rain to go a little longer for this line. With a shot like this with rain, you can usually just copy-paste it and check it out, and it should loop just fine because it's just rain. And you'll notice that was seamless. That was a seamless transition. Uh, with someone's like with with some a shot like someone's hair blowing in the wind, you have to be a little bit more precise. But um, this garbage mat right here that I did for this is going to be the same on the half and the close. For instance, if I bring them down, or the half and the full, I mean, so I bring the full down, and then I bring the half down. Go ahead and close that up there, and then I zoom in here. There just basic still shots right now. But I can go ahead and I can go ahead and, and, and drag the garbage mat up to each one. But since it's Adobe and I know what I'm doing, I'm just going to take a shortcut, Applied Effects, and I click this one right here, the closed. And then I just right click that, copy it, go to the half, paste it, go to the full, paste it, and then double check and make sure everything still looks good. And now look, I can literally just copy paste these anywhere along this file, anywhere. I can space them out if I want to and watch. The rain will keep flowing and it'll look good. Now, let's go ahead and watch that line. Masked and played back. Why am I so useless in the rain? Why am I so useless in the rain? Again, when I zoom in, look at the wave file. I'll go ahead and key through it for you on my keyboard. When you're lip flapping and you lip flap something, go ahead and key through it like this. When, when you're lip flapping it and you're doing it, if you're not sure about how it sounds with how it looks, key through it when you're done lip flapping it like this. And you'll kind of get a grasp of how things should go. Now, I don't want to make this a super long tutorial, so I tried to keep this as brief and basic as I possibly can. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. If you know me personally, just hit me up on Skype and I'll help you out and talk you through it or walk you through it, etc. however you want to put that. And um, it's, it's like I said, it's really not as complicated as you think, guys. It's actually very fairly easy. It's all trial and error. That's how you mask, and that's how you do a basic lip flap. All right? So I wish you guys the best of luck and have fun making your anime parodies or lip flapping your fan dubs because I know that some people do that in fan dubs. Sheesh, every once in a while I do it too. It makes it look a lot cooler. All right, guys.
I'll see you later.